Hey guys, so I'm going to be doing a little brush review on um, just some really cheap brushes that I got. And I got them on eBay, so like this is accessible to everyone. And what I wanted to say was I already have brushes that I like using, but I wanted to get a brush set that maybe some other people could use and like people who can't afford to go out and spend like 30 bucks on one one brush and this is what it looks like it's this um leather like a pinkish metallic purple um case and it unbuttons like that and it rolls out into You can see that I've used some of these brushes. I've used almost all of them, actually. <coughs> and the first thing I noticed when I opened the package was that it smelled like like factory plastic. Like, it wasn't an appealing smell, so I was like, oh great. Um, these brushes are going to suck. But, when I used it, the first one I used was this um, face brush, like a I guess you can use it as a powder brush, but I like to use blush with it because it's it's really soft. Oh, they're all these brushes are really, really, really soft, all of them. And I mean, it's pretty dense, but it's still like like kind of flimsy too. But it does the trick. Like if you it really though, if you don't have a brush set and you need just like one of everything, you should get this set. It was only ten dollars on eBay. And that's with um, shipping too. So you can see that it's like it's kind of dense, but probably not the best face brush. But if you don't have one, then these would definitely do the trick. And then they have a smaller one, which I think this is supposed to be for blush, like that. And this one's a little um a little denser than the other one, and I've also noticed that they, they don't shed. Like, I've, I've used all of them and they don't shed. So that's good. And they're all made of um, pony and goat hair, apparently. And then they have an angled brush. And this is for contouring, I guess. But it's like that, and I like this one. This one's good for contouring. Next one is... I haven't seen this brush anywhere else but I, I'm really liking it. It's like a flat circular one and this is I use this for blending and I like using it in the crease too but it's a little big for the crease but I like this brush for some reason and the, all the handles are um, purple and they're pretty and they're smooth and I haven't had any problems with it Next one, I'm guessing this is the concealer brush, and I like this one a lot. Like, this one's pretty, um, dense and dirty. Next one's just a smaller version of that one, see? And they have two of them. This one's the one after it. And these are for, um, eyeshadow. I use this one the most because I, I find this one's a little too big, but if you want to use this, like, if you want to put a lot of one eyeshadow on, you could probably use this one. And then the next two look just like the last two, but smaller. So, I actually used this one today, so I've got brown stuff on it. Brown, well not brown stuff, brown eyeshadow. And this one's good too. And then they have that fan brush, you know, that's kind of hard to find at places. And this, you can do highlight with this, or I, I like to use this to um, take the fallout, like just you know, brush it away. That's what I use this for. And then they have this one, which can be used for liner or precision um, application. And they have another one that's just like it, but a little bit smaller. And this one's, um, this one's a little denser, so I think you use this as a lip brush too. But I think this 
one is actually meant for the lips. You can see. Oh, that one's hard. I probably already used this one and forgot to clean it off. But this one's for the lip. And it has that little um, cover on it, the top, so you can carry it around with you. Then they have a liner. A liner brush. Just like that. And this one's pretty good. I wish it was a little bit thinner, but it, this one works for sure. And they have an angled liner. And this one's I'm a little disappointed about because it's a little too thick. And it's not very dense. But you can use this if you don't have anything else. And then it comes with like a, sp a sponge applicator. It comes with two ones. I don't really use these. So, but this one's like a better quality than the other sponge ones. Then it comes with a little mascara applicator and a two-sided brush thing. This one's for your eyebrows and these are for separating your lashes. So, if you need a brush set, I would definitely recommend this one. Like, it works for everything and it's only $10, so... I'd rather have all of these brushes than go spend $20 on one brush. So, again, this is the, um, just the, the pouch that comes in, and it's really nice. Like, it's probably not the nicest material, but it works, and I would recommend that. Like, if you don't have anything, go out and get it. It's only it, on eBay, like, you type it in, like, brush set or something, and it's 18 piece like PC brush set, I think that's what it's called. I don't know, but yeah, I just thought I should share, share that with y'all because I know I, when I first got into makeup, I couldn't go out and buy all those brushes. So this is a good little, a good little buy. But yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.